We were talking earlier around the Fed and Europe, and you had some comments coming through, and you basically said, it doesn't matter that they go one or two, we're near the end of the cycle, yeah, the tightening I, cycle? Yeah, I think it's the day near to the end of the tightening cycle. Mm -hmm. And the important thing I want to emphasize is that the Fed has been in a, what we call a risk management uh, kind of mode of operation since November last year. And the key thing is, I think if you look at the minutes from the last November meeting, and they make a very clear message that, that fighting inflation is not the only aim, mm. it's not the only goal, and that actually it's very important to assess whether they have been doing too much or doing too, too little. At that time, they start mentioning about the risk of a slowdown, and they're not sure yet. I mean, the staff gave a report saying that, okay, maybe, but, uh, but the, the officials, the voting member, uh, you know, certainly did not uh, uh, say that's a risk of uh, recession at that time. Mm. And then the, the, third, the second thing they also mentioned the risk is the financial uh, stability. They actually mentioned about they need to watch uh, financial stability back in November. So that's actually from all the way from November to now, they are managing the risk to balance the risk of fighting inflation, inflation being sticky, and at the same time, whether there's the economy slow, slowing down more than they want to see, they, they definitely want to see it slow down, but yeah. how much? And there's also financial risk, financial stability. Mm -hmm. So this, if you're from yesterday's statement, they're talking about the same thing. Talking about financial stability, and I, and I have to wonder just, you know, all the concerns that we had about the Treasury replenishing its cash and its, and its coffers, and whether we are going to see that sort of liquidity crunch. Have we seen any signs of that? Uh, I think for the data we have seen so far, that's up to the 14th of June, and we'll be seeing new data uh, tonight. And um, actually, that concern is a little bit overblown. In fact, uh, liquidity has not really come down in the banking system. And why is it so? Because it's when, yes, the Treasury uh, increased the cash balances in the, what we call the TGA, the Treasury General Account at the Fed, so taking money out of the banking systems. Mm. There's about more than 80 billion since the beginning of the month until the 14th of June. But at the same time, a lot of those issues, actually the T&T bills, they were all you know, bought up by the money market fund. And the money market fund, they have two major investments. One is T-bills, one is the reverse repo at the yep. Fed. And so they actually reduce the, the investment in the reverse repo with the Fed that's paying, that they are getting 5.05, but in the T-bills they are getting, you know, 5.11 to, you know, in terms of yield to 5, you know, depends on the, depends on the maturity, up to 5.5. So they are happy to uh, buy more T-bills and reduce the reverse repo. And so the reverse repo, actually, the balance came down more than 140 billion during the 14 days. So um, that's more than offset the, 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 the increase in the TGA. So in fact, this, and the, the uh, banking, uh, banks reserve at the, uh, at the Federal Reserve System actually increased yeah. by about 100 billion so, uh, during that period of time. So we have not seen any uh, this kind of liquidity crunch. And, right. But of course, we need to see more um, tonight, I mean, tomorrow morning our time. Yeah. So in, in very simple English, <laughs> uh, what does that mean for risk assets? Um, that is actually helped to, the, uh, to reduce some of the risk of the re uh, risk off. So that is okay. it's actually helped the uh, notion of risk on because mm -hmm. the liquidity is still in the banking system. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the money is still in the banking system, haven't really get away from the banking system and back to the uh, Federal Reserve. Fantastic. Yeah.